I'm getting lots of queries of student related to the stability question of Gate Aerospace 2024. And most of the students are asking that when aircraft is statically stable, then why this D option is not true that aircraft will return to the equilibrium state in a finite amount of time after removing the disturbance. So why it is not true, right? So for that you have to go back to the definition of stability. In lecture, I have already explained the definition of different types of stability thoroughly and beautifully, right? So if you know that definition, you will not have problem in understanding that why this option is not true, right? Now let's see this question. For an airplane having directional and weathercock static stability, static stability, which of the following option is our correct? Is our means it is MSQ question, right? Multiple options may be correct. So the first option is the airplane when disturbed in yaw from an equilibrium state will experience a restoring moment. That is the definition of static stability, right? So this vertical tail, what is the purpose of this vertical tail? To stabilize the aircraft in directional mode, right? To provide directional stability, correct? So if I disturb this aircraft, initially it is flying in straight and steady level path. So if I disturb this, let's say like this, right? So this is statically stable. So there will be side force on this tail this side force will create moment about the center of gravity of airplane like this so it will return to the equilibrium position it will try to return right that is the definition of static stability it is coming or not coming that is second thing right it will try to come back to our original position that is the definition right so it will produce restoring moment it will try to come back so option a is correct the airplane when disturbed in yaw from an equilibrium state will experience restoring moment restoring right it will try to restore its attitude correct because it is statically stable second option the variation of yawing moment coefficient cn with side slip angle beta for the airplane will look like right so this we have already discussed in the lecture that for static stability, this is the condition rate of change of yawing moment coefficient Cn with respect to the beta should be positive for static stability, right? If beta is positive, Cn should also be positive. Beta is positive, Cn is also positive. Beta is negative, Cn is also negative, right? So if there is a disturbance like this, so now this is beta angle between this and this this is beta this beta is positive it is side slipping toward starboard side it is positive correct so when beta is positive then restoring force will this this will be at an angle of attack with respect to the air so restoring force will be from this direction which will create restoring moment like this right it will be clockwise moment when seen through the z axis like this right so when beta is positive restoring moment is also positive when disturbance is like this now beta is negative now restoring moment is also anti-clockwise right so this graph is correct right rate of change of yawing moment coefficient cn with respect to the side slip angle beta is greater than zero positive so this is correct now coming to option C, the airplane will have airplane, the airplane will always tend to tend to point into the relative wind, right? So according to the definition, right, it will stabilize, it will try to stabilize the aircraft. So nose will try to point into the relative wind. So this is also true. This is true. Right? Now coming to the doubts sent by many people. The airplane when disturbed in the yaw will return to the equilibrium state in a finite amount of time after removing the disturbance. Right? 
So let's see whether it is true or not. So the thing is, aircraft is statically stable. There is a disturbance now. Now it will try to restore its attitude, right? So there will be side force, right? So this side force will create restoring moment about CG. So it will try to come back to toward original position like this, but it will not stop here. It has inertia. It will overshoot the equilibrium position like this. Correct? Then again, it will again side force will be from that direction. Moment will be clockwise. So again, it will go toward equilibrium position. Again, it will overshoot the equilibrium position like this. So like this, this aircraft will do and slowly, 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 it will stabilize. This is one possibility, right? It is not 100% true, right? With this possibility is written here, the airplane when disturbed in the yaw will return to equilibrium state in finite amount of time after removing the disturbance. This is this is also possibility, but this is not 100% true because let's see what is the other possibility. So what was this possibility? Just a minute. So initially we disturb by this much amount, right? So it will try to come back toward in original position. It will overshoot because of the inertia. Again, it will go toward equilibrium position. It will overshoot like this. And slowly, slowly it will come back toward equilibrium position. This is one of the possibility which we have seen here, right? Now coming to other possibility. Here you can see that amplitude is decreasing. Amplitude is decreasing continuously, right? So in finite amount of time, amplitude will decrease and it will return to the equilibrium position. This is one possibility. Other possibility is, let's say we have disturbed this this much amount. Again, it, it is going back. It is overshooting the equilibrium position like this, then again it is coming back, then again it is going, then again it is coming back, then again it is going. So amplitude stays same, right? So it stays same. This is also one possibility, right? Amplitude stays same, right? This, this is also the possibility, right? One possibility is this. Other possibility is this. There are other possibilities also. It may diverge. Amplitude may increase. Right? Or it may be over damped too. Correct? So it is not 100% sure that system will follow this response. Right? Because we only know about static stability. Right? What is the definition of static stability? That the aircraft will try to return toward equilibrium position. It will tend toward equilibrium position. It is coming, coming at equilibrium position or not. That is separate thing. That is not governed by the definition of static stability. That is separate thing. It will try to come back, right? What happens in trying to come back? That is not in the control of static stability, right? So here only static stability is given. That's why there are many possibility like this is neutrally dynamically neutrally stable right amplitude stays same one possibility is amplitude decreases with time and it will come to the equilibrium position this is also one possibility which is written here right but we are not sure that if it is having only static stability and it will follow this solution only it may follow other solution for that we have to know about the damping too right you should know about the damping. If it is over damped, there is no oscillation, right? So there may be multiple response, right? So we cannot say that the airplane, when disturbed in yaw, will return to the equilibrium state in finite amount of time after removing the disturbance. Maybe amplitude stays constant. This is also one possibility. That's the reason this option was not true, right? So if you look at the definition of static stability, you will come to know about this point that this may be true, may not be true. That depends upon the 
dynamic stability right because what is dynamic stability time response of statically stable system finite amount of time time response they have given only static stability they have not talk about dynamic stability that's the reason this option is not true right this is why i have explained all the definition thoroughly and beautifully while having the stability lectures i hope now this is clear to you that why this option is not true even though the aircraft is statically stable in directional mode year after year we consistently produce ranks from our classroom program students at gate aerospace academy we offer gate aerospace classroom program we provide regular and weekend classes in this program in hyderabad bangalore new delhi and chennai we also offer gate aerospace online program students from all over india can enroll in and attend classes in this program we also offer gate aerospace postal program students who wants to self prepare for gate aerospace exam can enroll in this postal program to get all the materials that are needed and we also offer gate aerospace test series program test series are very crucial in the preparation process so make sure that you practice more before the actual exam our test series course is divided into two main category gate aerospace test series and gate aerospace previous year questions test series this gate aerospace test series is further arranged according to topic wise test for different different topic of a particular subject subject wise test for different subjects then combination of subjects under multiple subject test grant test has full syllabus test like gate exam similarly previous year questions test previous year questions test series are arranged according to topic wise subject wise and then year wise we have also published two must have book for aerospace aspirants that is gate aerospace solution book and gate aerospace formula book which you can buy from flipkart and amazon there is separate video regarding features of these books link is given in description you can check it for postal program we have problem sheet book level 1 and level 2 and study material for all the subjects aircraft structure aerodynamics space mechanics jet propulsion flight mechanics engineering mathematics be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to learn more about gate aerospace and receive regular updates about aerospace and aeronautical engineering such as lectures job notifications internships job openings and many more by subscribing to our youtube channel you will be notified whenever we upload a new video and it helps us to reach you quickly join our official telegram channel for regular updates and follow us on social media thank you thank you so much